<笑>と特別に教えてやろうそれは俺以外が触ると自動的に電源がオフになる特殊任務使用形態なのだ<笑>そう独り言さらばだちょっと<笑>はい。So yeah, it turns out that there are people falling for these fake mod application websites, these fake mod application scams, and Seth just wants to tell everybody that there is a world in Grotopia that you can go to to learn how to fight these websites, how to report these websites, and it is report phishing. I suggest that you go, just go there, just learn how to do it, okay? He also wants to remind you guys to be smart with your accounts, don't ever give out your password, even if it's your alt account. Because if your alt accounts get banned, your main account could also be banned with it. Be smart, guys. Wait, wait. wait. Okay. <laughs> How did you become mod? This is one of those questions I get very often, and the answer is simply that I played the game and I was pretty active in the early days, both in in game and on the forums. And then I was asked to become a moderator, and I said okay, and that was that. So it's not it's not a very exciting story, unless you believe what Seth has to say about it. Choosing mods is a very strict process, but I think it's fair to give everyone a deeper look into how it works, the more you know, right? Every Friday, all the moderators meet in secret in an ancient tomb. Mods must press their GT amulet against the insignia on the door to open it. Everyone wears his or her ceremonial garb. We take turns suggesting possible new mods until we've set up 10,000 name cards and light a candle by each one. It's a total fire hazard, but it's the only way. We roll the bones, read the stars, and wait for the Grotopia spirit wind to enter the chamber. One by one, the candles are blown out, but sometimes a single one remains lit. That is the chosen one. Phone calls are made. The person is kidnapped and brought in. We usually watch Game of Thrones or play Twister while we wait for his or her arrival. When the hood is removed, we explain they've been chosen and must pledge to protect and serve Grotopia. If they say no, they are thrown into the pit. After the blood ride is finished, there is a celebration, unless the server has crashed, in which case we rub ashes on our clothes and go through the server logs to figure out why. Hope this helps. <laughs>